Could the Arctic Ocean be the next untapped oil reserve? Royal Dutch Shell is about to start drilling the Arctic Ocean, the result of a multi-billion dollar gamble that has so far kept Shell's rivals out of those same icy waters. Shell is hauling two massive rigs, the Polar Pioneer and the Noble Discoverer, up Alaska's coast to the Chuck CC. Transporting the rigs requires 30 support vessels and seven aircraft, a big entourage even by big oil company standards. Shell has so far spent $6 billion on the Arctic and will spend over a billion more in the coming year to drill in the Chuck CC. It's not a sure bet. Falling oil prices are one reason Shell rivals ExxonMobil and Chevron aren't pursuing Arctic Ocean drilling. ExxonMobil and BP suspended their joint Arctic exploration program in June. Norway's Statoil has delayed development in the Johan Kasberg field in the Barents Sea, which the company estimates may hold 400 to 650 million barrels of oil. Karn Energy, one of Europe's biggest oil companies, has spent over a billion dollars on exploration near Greenland, but failed to make a commercial discovery. ExxonMobil and Russia's state control Rosneft struck oil last year, but sanctions against Russia put exploration on hold. Environmental groups have protested Shell's efforts, citing concerns over the impact of a spill. And the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service said that Shell cannot drill two wells at the same time within a 15-mile radius to minimize the impact on walruses. So Shell can only drill for one well at a time. The U.S. Geological Survey says the Arctic may hold the largest remaining untapped oil reserves on Earth. That said, it may be a year or more before Shell knows whether it has discovered a vast new source of oil or lost a billion-dollar bet.